Okay, Aquarians, let's go and see your readings. So this is your year readings, Aquarians. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful, wonderful alignment of energies. So, well, 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 Aquarian, let's see. So what we have here, Aquarian, for um, the first month of, uh, this is your reading. We have the Three of Swords um, in the first month of January. So we're going to be realizing what is coming up and transpires. So the energy of the Three of Swords is heartbreak with a situation. Um, but uh, um, whatever the heartbreak is, uh, I see the truth is now revealed to whatever that was happening and transpiring in the month of February. In the month of March, you're using the swords of truth to, to speak and speak up uh, and let people know exactly what was happening and transpiring. So a wonderful alignment of energies for the first three months because what is happening and transpiring is that whatever the heartbreaks is that you're coming in the month of January with in February, the truth is going to be coming out. And in March, you're going to be using the sword of truth to, to speak up about a situation. And I think that that was what you have done. So when we look at the first three months, um, what is going to be happening and transpiring is that uh, um, definitely um, truth is going to be revealed. So whatever lies and deceptiveness there was uh, in a corporation institution or on the work floor, you are going to be using the swords of truth and bring out the truth in February, March, uh, and you're going to be showing up what was happening and what was transpiring. As we look at April, May, and June, April, we have the Ace of Cups. Uh, this is a wonderful alignment of energies, a wonderful um, water energy. So this is going to be good, um, a positive, positive alignment of energy. Then we have uh, the Ten of Cups. So I see you're going to be happy because some sort of information came out in February and uh, in uh, um, the, the, the two first months is going to be weird, but in the month of uh, um, May, you're going to be very, very happy towards what has happened and what has transpired. So this is going to be very, very positive. When we look at uh, um, June, June is another powerful, powerful energy. This is absolutely fabulous. What is happening and transpiring is that... Uh, the um, energy of the Nine of Cups uh, is uh, so powerful because your wishes and dream is going to be coming in. So it's emotional, emotional, water, emotional communication. But this is good for you, Aquarian, because what is happening in transpiring is that you are showing up. You're definitely showing up uh, um, for yourself in the first six months. And this is going to be good because whatever that was happening and transpiring, whatever the heartbreaks is and was now, the um, truth is going to be coming out. And the heartbreaks is going to be bringing you a wonderful uh, situation in your life. So sometimes uh, regrets and sometimes things that is happening and transpiring um, with regrets, uh, you are going to be coming out on top with a situation because people are now seeing what exactly was happening and transpiring and you're showing up for yourself. The second uh, um, 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 quarter is about emotions and it's an all positive emotion. Um, it is as if you showed up, you were so saddened about something in January and in April, you are going to be recognizing that what you have done in order to show up uh, what was transpiring, you have done the right thing and this is going to be good. So Whoopi, thanks. Um, to the universe that you Aquarians really, really um, stood up for yourself and show up uh, as something that was uh, um, dishonest. And you show this up and you make sure um, that whatever dishonesty that was plain, you let people recognize this and you are taking back your power. So this is absolutely fantastic. Then when we look at the next... Uh, um, three months that is going to be the months of July, August and September. You are having a powerful energy that is coming in. Um, the energy of uh, the crown and the energy of the crown. You can see, um, what is happening and transpiring is that, uh, 
Um, these are all the energies of uh, um, major corners that is coming in in order to align a lot of you in the months. And it is going to be absolutely fabulous because we have uh, some of you dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpion, whoever these people are. We have uh, um, the young person in the month of July, in the month of August, you're dealing with the Queen of Cups. And the month of September, you are dealing with the King of Cups. So, um, emotionals, um, people that you're dealing with, but not to, to worry about that. Um, you will be okay. Um, sometimes it is good for you to align yourself with these emotional energies because what they, what is happening and what is showing up is that you are bracing yourself for, for whatever is coming in. So, um, work is powerful. I mean, you begin the year on communication and even though you're going to be coming up and dealing with, uh, um, these people in uh, the month of July, August and September, you'll be okay. You're going to be balancing out uh, the situation and you're going to be bringing in wonderful stability into your world and you're going to be creating transformation. Um, so these people could be coming in to work with you or work against you. It doesn't really matter because you have already uh, show up uh, when you begin the year and you're going to be finding out uh, how wonderful it is to really um, remove people, issues and situation and make a better choice for yourself. So um, this is absolutely fabulous. Um, you know, going as to and working with these energies, you're going to be realizing how powerful you're going to be resolving a lot of situation um, that was happening and transpiring. And you're going to be coming out of this uh, in a really, really positive situation. So that is good. When we look at the last three months, what is happening and transpiring the last three months, we are looking at... Uh, um, the Eight of Cups, some sort of an ending is going to be coming in for a young Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion person. So be aware of that. So some sort of an ending is going to be coming up for this person. However, it is transpiring. And uh, this person is between the age of 18 and 45. So some of you could be um, ending some sort of an issue or some sort of a situation for this person and creating a better stability for yourself. So be aware. So that is going to be good. Um, in the month of November, you are dealing with a six of cups. So I see um, some of you could become friendly with uh, um, a scorpion woman, okay? Um, or you could be getting in a connection with a scorpion woman, whoever the scorpion woman is and whatever that is happening and transpiring. I see um, this energy is really going to be coming up and it's going to be transpiring. So a lot of you are going to be dealing with some sort of an issue um, in the month of uh, November with a scorpion woman. So be aware of that. As we look at the month of December, we have the five, uh, the six. Oh, that was the seven of cups, the six of cups. Wow, you you guys have so much emotional um, situation that is coming on for this. Okay, because that means if you have emotional issues at the workplace, that means that it is going to be um, very, very positive. You are aligning the energies in the correct way and you are going to be very, very stable in whatever is happening and transpire and this is going to be good. So, um, you know, um, don't worry about it. It is um, a positive alignment of energy. You're showing up for yourself and you are definitely showing up for yourself. You're definitely going to be bringing in a lot of uh, positive energies for yourself. And this is going to be create wonderful alignment of energies. So um, the first six months is going to be you taking back your powers. However, this is happening in Transpire. Um, You can see the energy of uh, hair taking back your powers. Um, you know, making people know exactly how far to go, um, um, standing your ground and being aware of what is transpiring. And that is going to be good. The second quarter is going to be emotion, but it's going to be positive. 
the second quarter of the year is going to be good for you, Aquarian. Your best month is going to be March. Whatever is transpiring, Aquarian, March is going to be your best month. Then when we look, I see some of you dealing with um, a young Pisces Cancer Scorpion. Um, and um, this person is going to be coming off in the month of... Uh, uh, um july and however this is happening and transpiring this situation is definitely definitely going to be coming up in july so however you are dealing with the situation however you're transforming this situation you're going to be seeing um this coming up and this is going to be good and along with a scorpion woman um, we're going to be seeing what the scorpion woman is going to be bringing forward in your life so be aware of this but for the rest i see you dealing with also a scorpion man so a lot of you are dealing with a scorpion man and a scorpion woman and uh, um they, these people could be your supervisor or they could have been working against you for quite some time okay but um information is going to be coming out now and people are going to be finding out the truth about what was going on and what was transpiring. So, so, so. Um, these cards are a little, are a little bit bigger. Um, so, um, but they're, they're, they're just giving you the full blown energy of uh, what is coming up and what is transpiring. Um, please leave a message how, um, you feel about uh, this energy. Um, this energy is going to be bringing, you can uh, follow us to see the extended and uh, I am going to say namaste until next time.